I'm going to the movies, taking myself on a date. I just found out the movie, the last movie started 10, 15. So, got 20 minutes to get there. Literally did a quick one, two. Brows, lashes, foundation, and a wig. That's it. Got me a cup of wine for the road and one shot of Jim Beam in my purse. <laughs> I'm walking home. I'm gonna park the car. Lost my parking spot out here. First come, first serve, and it be. So I gotta walk a little ways. But I'm almost there. Then Naja come calling me as soon as I pulled in. Tell my she can't get in the house. I'm like, girl. I'm walking up to the door, we even got in at the same time. My 17 year old. I didn't do too bad. I had one drink where out where I was at. And I'm still mad because I could not go find the movie. <laughs> I mean, I found the place where the movie at, but my whole night was through off because the studio grill that I was trying to go to that's only like 10 minutes from our house, it's, it's closed down. So I already was having to drive over 20 minutes out the way. Then when I got over there, I knew exactly where I was going, first of all, because we, we just moved from over to the area I was going. It's bougie as fuck. So by the time I got over there, that area is so nice that people go out there for day and nights and it's super busy so it was people they find places to park and they parking was so bad they park everywhere and just walk and then with me i'm not i don't like driving downtown and even though that place is like midtown it's not downtown it's like off the beltway in the middle it's still like cluttered and I get bad anxiety when I'm driving on small roads and cluttered spots with a bunch of cars and people walking. So I get really nervous. I don't do good in spaces like that by myself. So I prefer to have Joy with me and she couldn't cause she was at work. So I went to the little club. Y'all just seen me at little lounge. Bought me one drink. Then they try to be expensive cause come to find out it's black on. Oh man, that's a different story for a different day. Oh. Either way, I done made it home. These stairs ain't no joke. Oh, I guess she got in. Listen in, Romeo. He hear me. She gonna get in and lock the door. Look at him going crazy. Cause he here, he mommy. It's okay, Rom. Mm. My ass. <laughs> Why you blow the candle out? <laughs> you put my clothes in the dryer. Go put my clothes in the dryer because my bed cover's in there. Go head on. 
I forgot to tell you before I left. do too bad y'all i'm trying to figure out like i tried to text Dora all night at her job and normally she would have been responding to me by now my girlfriend ain't even responding to me and she at work look at him <laughs> he gets a wonder he's so arcing look. it's okay Stop playing with me. You know you better than lick me in my mouth. Uh, I gotta get him some tension. Now, Romy wants some tension. Romeo. Oh. Before I even left, he was making me rub him. Like, literally. Like, I'm sitting up here doing something, and he just study, bucking his head, laying in my lap, and hitting my hand. Like, literally, he is so aggressive when he comes to want his attention. Okay, Jules. So, yeah, I had one drink at the place, and I had to make the uh, bartender put an extra shot in there because it was weak. So, before I knew... Well, I knew something was wrong with the drink, but when the waitress had came over and was asking me how I was doing, I was like, the the, the drink kind of uh, weak. Mind you, the drink was $14. So, of course, I said the, the weak, the, um, the drink kind of weak. And then she was like, well, yeah, we do got a new bartender. And so I was like, well, can you tell her put a shot in here? since she knew because this is weak and then it was once she put the shot in there i was good because of course look at me and that was just one i had one cup of wine on the way and i had two jim beam whiskey shots before i even left the house so i'm good that's all i need y'all don't be judgmental look at my man waiting on me <laughs> he wagging his tail he waiting he waiting for you Riley. <laughs> Bye, y'all. You see the uniform. <clears throat> see this. <clears throat> we just waking up, y'all, to head out to the uh, car wash uh, job. This the uniform, with the shirt. <laughs> so I had to uh, have my y'all. These I'm busting out these pants, boy. These pants don't have no elastic, no stretch, no nothing. Look at this. Like, my gut area here, I literally had to pull one of my things I used to pull when I was uh, real big. What, I zipped it and buttoned it up and then unbuttoned it and tucked the button so it wouldn't be pinching my stomach. These pants here make you make a girl feel like she ain't losing no weight. But these are like the men. These are these men's pants. Work pants were. See, they don't have no no stretch, no elastic, no nothing. I gotta throw this lash on my eye. 
and I'll be out of here. We got to go be there at 9. Joy just left. She walking up there. But let me get my big... <laughs> I'm busting out this uniform, child. Look at this blue wave. <laughs> let me get my ass... Oh, this make me want to just starve. But I'm not going to feel like that. I'm not going to let these pants intimidate me and make me feel like I'm not doing good on my fitness journey because these are a different type of fabric they have no stretch and i know i'm a thick girl right now and in women's clothes i can wear 9 10 11 12 and then some stuff that fit really small you know it, I, stuff just like i was telling joy yesterday i'm not gonna let these pants mess my mind up about my weight loss because when you dealing with certain type of fabrics and certain type of brands manufacturing that make stuff it just we go through this with clothes period you got to know where to get your clothes from you got to know who stuff run small who stuff run big and clearly like the manager told me yesterday in the orientation these companies that they use stuff run small so she goes and get hers with elastic in it from Walmart. So I'm actually going to go find me some that she have at Walmart. Because, honey, hers is like a stretchy type slack looking like. And so they look way more comfortable. So I had to spray on some of my Carolina Herrera. Good girl. Because I done ran out of all my little cheap body sprays. And so I hate having to use, look at my Carolina Herrera. I think it's already down to here. And then my YSL, I definitely went for the spray that to go. But um, I'm going to have to re-up on this. I love this Carolina Herrera, good girl. I do not want to be trying to spray it on to go work at a car wash. But I need to go to Walmart or Family Dollar and get me some of them little um, quick body sprays uh, that smell good. Because... This ain't what I need to be spraying to go work at a car wash. This is the final outfit, Jules. Got my man pants on. Sitting up, cutting my cutting my uh fupa in half. And then I got my blow black non-resistant shoes on that I showed y'all from Didi's in the other vlog. And I didn't know if I should put on a wig under this cap. So I just went with no. I'm driving. I'm not walking because your girl not going to go walk to this car wash like Joy with these um, with these tight ass pants on. And then I'm going to cut my, my breathing circulation off. So I'm going. I'm driving. <laughs> fiasco of a poopy poop show that I had last night. I was on my family grabs. <laughs> I hopped on grabs live last night. Thank God she went live because she was playing some good music last night. Try to get her to make me a playlist because Gramps be knowing the good music. You hear me? But I had her plugged in on the car radio because my phone was attached to the aux and she was just playing some random music. Um, some of her favorites on her playlist. And y'all, I was jamming. I was like, yes! Because I got this on the radio in the car so it lit every time she played a song it sounds like it was coming from my radio, so it sounded like I was listening to it on the radio. So I was like, keep it coming. Grams be knowing the music. Shout out to Grams Youngin. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe. If I would, y'all know her, so I ain't got to tell y'all go subscribe. But if you ain't subscribed, go check out Grams and my girl Avery Joanna Page. I love them. That's my family. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to connect with them. They got some good vibes. But let me get in here. What time is it? 8.58. I'm at the car wash, y'all. Let me go see how this day gonna go. I'm about 
up. I need to be putting some sunblock on. I ain't finna put that white sunblock on my face and be out here in front of these folks with that white patchy. But I'm not trying to get sunburned either. So I might have to go on and try to find me an oil based sunblock because I don't wanna I don't want my skin already got sun sun damage. I can't be doing that out here with these folks. So see if they gonna keep us for the whole shift or it might just be a quick training and we gotta watch a video, I believe. 